going to be subscribing everybody at the remaining social networks. It's striking, and I uh, have a problem. I hear you just finished a very nice match full of non destructible modifiers. However, you're looking at trepid with trepidation to the also very fine made shape keys. It's both plot heavy and the corrective ones. And uh, I'm about to get a panic attack at the sheer monotonousness of what you're about to attempt doing. If only there was a way to just click a button and apply all modifiers to every shake key at once. Well, uh, you clicked on the right video. So, if you go down to the description, you'll find two links. One is for GitHub, the other, in case you want to support uh, the developer, is for the Blender Marker. It's five bucks there. So, first things first, uh, you need to go to preferences and uh, install uh, the modifier. You do it as usual, and uh, as you can see, it is SK Keeper. So, once it's installed and activated, uh, you're good to go. So, how do we apply our modifiers to our shape keys? Well, it is surprisingly simple. First, you click on the mesh to which you want to do this, and then you go to object, and ooh la la, what is this? Three marvelous buttons which weren't there before. So yeah, they're self-explanatory. You can just click apply all shape keys, and all shape keys have been successfully applied. If you don't have to deal with shaking before, that's not your, your erection hitting the bottom of your desk. If you never have to do this before, because you're so lucky you'll never have to find out why. However, if uh, we go back, okay, you might have noticed uh, a couple of other buttons. And again, they are rather self-explanatory. The apply all subdivision modifiers apply, well, all the subdivision modifiers. This one, for example. Simple, straightforward, pretty useful. Well, and uh, the by far most useful button is going to be this one. With this, you can apply one modifier at a time to make changes with each layer. Here. And uh, let's do that uh, with just the mirror modifier real quick because I want to show one last thing. As you may have noticed, I only have one shape key for uh, one current shape key for both sides and that's because you only need one. I'll tell you, you add a, uh, the credit the post key, you can use the both of them then just select uh, all the vectors that are not affected by the shape key, go to vectors, blend from shape, basic, and voila. Then do the same to the other side on the other shape key, and it's another shape key you don't have to worry about. Anyway, people, leave the tidbits aside. I hope this tool is as useful to you as it was to me. And uh, trust you, me. Give the developer the five bucks, it's worth every cent. With that in mind, people, I'm gonna have it here. I hope this is gonna be as useful to you as it was to me. Don't forget to watch, ring the bell, you know the drill. Till next time, I'll see you around. Ta ta!